There have been many fourths in the history of our world. The Fourth of July, the Fourth Amendment, the Fourth Thursday of November, the fourth word in this paragraph. Actually, psych. You dumb idiot. God, I hate you so much. You. You specifically. That was actually the fifth word. Resident Evil 4 was the fourth entry in the ever popular Resident Evil franchise. It was the first game to move away from fixed camera positions and... <sighs> I don't care. You don't care. We already know about Resident Evil 4. Hell, it's one of the most popular games of all time. Being poured for everything from the PS4 to most of my internal organs. I actually bought Resident Evil 4 about a year ago um, for my favorite console in my collection. My dumpy little original edition Wii. I had seen how freakishly cheap it was on Amazon at the time, and I had just seen the Scott the Waz episode like below about it. I figured it would be a good addition to my collection and ordered it along with Super Mario All-Stars, all for the Wii. Resident Evil 4 is not a great jumping in point for the franchise. At least it wasn't really for me. I'd recommend Remake 2 for that. The beginning parts of Resident Evil 4 are pretty frustrating, especially for the Wii. I found myself fighting with both the controls and the camera constantly. The Wii edition does not teach you movement at all. It throws you in. If you die to the first enemy, well, seems like you got a problem, you little dumbass. Immediately, I was shocked at how the shooting worked. Not how ADS turns the game into a light gun shooter. But no, I actually really like that part. I was shocked at how ADS works at all. Why the hell is B the trigger button aim and A the circle button aim? is shoot. That makes no sense to me. I've played maybe two shooters on the Wii in my history. The Metroid Prime game in Nintendo Land, which is a god tier game if anyone says differently, they will catch these weak, frail gamer arms and GoldenEye 007 at a friend's house. These games, along with some YouTube content, got in my head that every Wii game had the obvious control scheme for shooters. A to aim, and the literal button that is designed after a trigger to shoot. I struggled with this actually a fair amount. On my first enemy I ended up aiming repeatedly at him instead of actually doing any damage, which I guess was more or less annoying to him uh, than harmful. Not to mention the camera. This game seems to be a strange mix between a fixed and free camera like a lot of Wii games. The camera is something else. It's always making me look up or around a corner somewhere I just don't want it to be. I don't know how the camera works on dual stick controllers. But the Wii's is just truly terrible, along with the fact that they never really teach you how to do a 180, which is a vital move in order to learn how to move around in your environment. However, combat plus inventory management is just so good. Playing Tetris with a fucking rocket launcher is just so much fun to my stupid little ape brain. Now combat. Oh my god, the combat. There's a reason this game stands the test of time. It's the combat, blowing the head off a guy at close range, hearing that satisfying crunch, and watching his dead body stumble forward then fall to the ground. It's enough to make it, me want to go shoot Spanish people in real life. While I haven't gotten through much of the game or the story yet, I had just finished chapter 3, I feel like this game deserves a place in the cream of the crop of the video game crop. So far I rate this game a hard 8 out of 10, and we'll see how this stacks up if I do a follow up after.